Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today, we have got another Naruto character review, and today's character is Onoki, the Suchikage. Now, Onoki's an interesting guy. He's, um, he's an old man. Oh, uh, before we get into this, spoilers, if you're not caught up on Naruto Shibuden, I'm going to be talking about some stuff. So, yeah, uh, you want to watch that first. I mean, it's a little old at this point, but anyways, yeah, spoilers. So, Onoki, old guy, um, very old man, um, which at first you just think, oh, yeah, he's this old guy. He's got the bat, this bad back, um, you know, somewhat comical, um, but you start to learn more and more about him. You first meet him uh, in the show when uh, you're going to the Five Kage Summit. Um, while he's there, well, you see he's very stubborn. He's very set in his ways. He really is not a fan of Gara because Gara is so young and he's like, who's this kid? How'd he get to be uh, Kaze Kage? Like, what's going on there? Uh, you know, the sand village must be slipping. You know, that's kind of what he's thinking. You know, he's he's an old man. He's set in his ways and he he doesn't much trust the youth. So, yeah. Um, but as uh, as things progress, uh, you start to learn more about him, like um, uh, Gara manages to intrigue him uh, to some extent, enough that uh, you know Onoki, being stubborn and thinking he's got the upper hand, uh, tells Gara to ask him a question. And Gara takes him by surprise when he asks uh, Onoki, uh, uh, when did you forsake yourself? And <laughs> he can't answer that. <laughs> And that really, really it affected him. He, he, you start to see him change there, which is interesting because we never really saw much of him at all before that. But this is where, like, we really start to see him uh, change his ways from, you know, the stubborn old Tsuchi Kage uh, who refused to let anyone carry his pack, and who was insistent that, you know. Uh, the five great nations each have their own strength and not to compromise, like, or work together, like, that he couldn't really trust anyone. When Gara said that, he started to reconsider some stuff, which was quite interesting, especially with some of the things that happened at the Five Kage Summit. Um, like, for instance, you know, uh, you don't see him do much personally um, in terms of that, in terms of what goes on there. You see him talk a bit. Um, he definitely seems very stubborn and set in his ways. Um, even Gara's words take some time to sink in, really. Um, but, yeah, you see him uh, fight a little bit against uh, Sasuke, but you don't really see it. You see him use his particle uh, style on Sasuke, and you think it kills him, but it doesn't. Um, uh, Obito manages to get in and get him out of there in time. Um, so that ends up happening. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and you find that out almost immediately. It's like a few minutes later in the same episode that you find that out. So eh, you, there's a little bit of suspense, but not much. Like a couple of minutes on whether you're wondering if Sasuke uh, was killed by him. Uh, anyways, um, so you see that happen. Um, Oloki, uh, he's also known as the fence sitter. Um, now the Tsuchikage and, uh, you know, the Stone Village, they've, had a lot of dealings with the Akatsuki more than most. They're very big on hiring them. Um, and that's been a major problem, of course. So uh, Onoki actually had a pretty big hand in enabling the Akatsukis into doing what they're doing. So a mm, bit of an issue there. Um, plus, I believe Deidara is uh, one of his shinobi that uh, he knows fairly well. So there's that. Um, especially, uh, you definitely find that out when they end up fighting. Um, but Onoki actually proves um, after this to be quite helpful. Um, and once he starts to really, you know, understand things and starts to really reevaluate himself, you start to see him really take on a very helpful role um, with protecting the uh, nine, uh, eight nine tails. Um, uh, he was definitely a big part of the fight when, um, you know, uh, Kabuto decided to try and uh, kidnap 
oh, well, you thought he was going after Nonorthal, but it turns out he was actually going after uh, 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 Yamato. So turns out that was the case. But Omoki was a big part in that fight, uh, talking with um, Deidara, uh, who was uh, one of the reanimations helping Kabuto. So that was kind of a big thing. Uh, you also will see Onoki show up later um, when Lord Mu joins the fight, um, the, his reanimation, uh, because he has particle style, and the only thing you can fight particle style with is particle style, because it's just that powerful. So Onoki shows up uh, on the front lines to deal with that uh, and assists Gara, um, which is interesting to see those two um, work together after everything. So that's kind of nice. Um, on top of that, yeah, there's just a lot of really good stuff with Onoki. Um, you're going to see uh, him fight against uh, Madara Uchiha. He's going to be one of the first on the scenes, of course, after they manage to steal Lord Mu. Uh, he really shows his stuff in that fight, um, as well as the other fights against the Five Kage. Um, Onoki really proves his worth, um, and because of that, he was one of the first to fight uh, Madara. Uh, he shows his worth in that fight uh, big time. When all the five Kage are down, he actually is the first one to get up. And he's the first one to recognize Madara because, well, he met him before. <laughs> like, Onoki's an old, old guy. So old that when he was a kid, he met Madara. He actually had some not-so-pleasant feelings with him in his youth. That's how old he is. Like, I mean, I guess it's not too terribly crazy. I mean, Tsunade did too. Well, I mean, I probably did too. Well, maybe not Madara, but she met, like, you know, Hashirama, the Madara's rival. I mean, that's her grandpa. So, you know, uh, it kind of gives you an idea. It's, you know, somewhere around Tsunade's grandpa's age. And Tsunade's kind of old herself. Like, she's, like, 50, so... Madara, so which means Onoki's got to be in his 80s at least uh, by the time of uh, Shippuden. So, like, it makes sense that he'd be really old uh, with a bad back. Like, these things make sense. Like, guy's really, really old. Um, by far one of the oldest characters you actually see in the show. Like, Lord Third is probably several years young. Like, a, probably a good at least 10, 15 years younger than him, at least. So that gives you any sort of idea as to how old he was. Um, yeah, probably about 10, 15 years younger. And, like, he was old. Um, and that was also a few years before. So, you know, yeah, I don't know if he's an old guy. Um, and as I said, Ed, uh, he fights against Madara. He proves his worth there. He ends up... Um, you know, uh, to help uh, saving everybody a couple of times. He works really well with uh, the Raikage in order to actually, uh, you know, try and do some extra damage by uh, changing the Raikage's weight, making him lighter so that he's faster, and then changing it so that he's heavier right before he connects to make his punches stronger. Really, really trying to make those uh, hit uh, punches hit as hard as possible. Um, by, yeah, increasing both velocity and mass uh, of the punch uh, in that way. Very, very useful. Um, yeah, uh, just just a really interesting guy. Uh, at his core, like, when he was a kid, he was uh, very different than he is now. And that's why Agar's words resonated, because he realized he did forsake himself. Like, who he was and what he thought was ideal, like, his ideals were so different when he was a kid, and he very much does not live up to those ideals. Or at least he didn't, uh, you know, at the start of the show. So he, he starts to change, though, and he really uh, learns to trust in, uh, trust in the youth, trust in peace, trust in a better tomorrow. Uh, he used to think these were things that you could only, like, if you wanted to secure your future, you had to do it, you know, by being stronger than everyone else. And he's realized that that's not really the case. So it's really nice to see that kind of growth in him, uh, especially seeing as he, he, he was that before when he was younger. Like he was a naive, uh, optimistic young man. And Mother was actually the one who like broke that trust and made him so bitter against the world. 
it was when Madara betrayed him. It's like he had, like the stone had a deal with the leaf under Hashirama, and Madara's like, no, that's not the deal. Uh, I, I am not going to allow you to even speak to Hashirama, uh, which yeah, I'm sure Hashirama would have honored it, but Madara like went behind his back and was like, no, this isn't happening. So I'm not even sure what the deal was, but yeah. Um, and I'm not even sure, Hash I suspect Hashirama never even learned of any of this. But yeah, it is what it is, I guess. And it made Omoki bitter. Um, so yeah, he's, he's definitely an interesting character. Um, if you guys have anything you guys want to uh, say, feel free to leave it in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Maybe ring that bell um, if you enjoy. And as always, I'm Mitch, and I'll be seeing you.